Good day, traders, and welcome to the Friday, May 31st edition of Premium Video Newsletter from Market Geeks. Let's start off with some fundamental news that came out early in the morning today. There was both encouraging and disappointing news on the economy. Consumer spending fell 0.2% in April, the first decline since last May. That news was offset by a report released later showing that the U.S. consumer confidence jumped to the highest level in almost six years in May, resulting from rising home prices and record high stock prices as well. In government bond trading, the yield on the 10-year Treasury note rose to 2.19% from 2.12%. The yield has risen by half a percentage point since the start of the month and it's the highest it's been since April of 2012. Rates have risen on concern that the Federal Reserve is considering easing back on its purchase of 85 billion bonds every month. The sharp rise in Treasury yields could be a major factor in dropping stock prices in the near future. Keep in mind, this is a futures chart, so it's completely inverse of the cash bond prices. The lower this chart goes, the higher interest rates will go. Both the Dow Jones and the S&P 500 finished the month with six straight monthly advances in a row, something we haven't seen since 2009. The market was range-bound for the first part of the day and moved down, as I predicted yesterday, off the resistance level that was set yesterday. I drew a chart for you in yesterday's video, and this is just a continuation of the same chart. Notice how the index hits the resistance level and backed away quickly afterwards. I believe much of the selling pressure today is investors taking profit at the end of the month. According to market sentiment studies, investors tend to take profit at the end of May. And I believe most of the selling action that occurred during the second part of the trading day was investors locking in profit before the summer begins. I'll be watching to see if the market breaks any crucial support levels before the opening Sunday in the evening. This is when the E-mini futures contracts begin trading. The selling at the end of the day was primary fund liquidations at the end of the month. I expect at least a small bounce coming into Monday morning, but we will get a better idea later in the weekend. The S&P 500 broke the 1635 level towards the end of the trading session. The low was about five points below the support level that was set a few days ago, and the market now has a clearer direction. I still believe till the feds decide what will happen with the $85 billion monthly bond buying program, the stock market will be cautious in either direction. The next support level is near the 1580 level and the market will be headed there shortly if we have some concrete news about the feds discontinuing the bond program. Let's discuss our open positions. PFE, which is the ticker for Pfizer Pharmaceutical, was weak most of the day and was on the top volume leader today as well. We shorted the stock near the $29 level and the stock dropped today to the low $27 level. Our first profit target if we maintain large position was met at $28 and we have a resting order for the remainder of the position near the $27 level. For small positions, take the entire position off at the $27 level. The second open position we're holding is our long position in MGA stock. The stock was moving in our direction till today and suffered a small pullback. The pullback was very small compared to the market drop and the relative strength is still strong. I recommend holding the position since we are in a profitable area at this time. The third position we were holding is FMX and it's our inside day position. The position went sharply against us towards the end of the trading day and we were stopped out at 109.15 price level. The stock went up higher and traded as high as 109.40 before closing near our stop level. There's a new setup that was triggered after the closing bell. The stock ticker symbol is INFI and the company is called Discovery Partners International. The stock is in the pharmaceutical preparation sector and it's one of the weakest stocks in that sector as of right now. The stock has been losing steam and is very weak in comparison to the rest of the market and the sector. The setup is a 4x4 and I linked some material for you 
so that you can see how the 4x4 setup works. The entry for this short position is below today's close. Enter a sell stop at 26.77 for Monday morning on a stop. I would leave the order work for the remainder of Monday. If filled, place a buy stop, which is a protective stop, at 29.20 level. That's it for today's tutorial. Have a great weekend, and I will update you Sunday evening with any important updates before the weekend ends.